Okay, this video is for how to send automatic emails to your MailChimp audience consisting of your latest blog post from your website. So this is an automatic process set up to take when you post your blog on WordPress, it takes your latest article and it sends out a automated email to everyone on your subscribed email list in MailChimp on whatever interval you set. So it could be like every Monday, it could be every Friday at 8 o'clock, whatever you set, that's what it's going to do. All right, so before we begin, I'm going to link under the video this link right here. This is the MailChimp documentation for how to do this process. It's pretty quick and straightforward here, but I'm going to make a video covering it in a quicker fashion myself. All right, so once you're inside MailChimp, we're going to go to Create, and then we're going to go to Email. Here, we're going, instead of regular, we're going to select Automated. And then down here, right here, we see share blog updates. So this is the type of email we want. And um, that's fine for the name of it. The campaign name isn't going to bother us too much. And then you're going to select an audience. For me, I only have one, so it's an easy choice. Okay, here is where I see a lot of questions about this right here. So basically what you want to do is you want to take your website. So this is my website. It's root domain, right? the HTTPS, the domain name, the slash, and then right after that slash, we're just going to put feed, just like that. And to make sure that works, let's open up a new tab with that exact URL. And if you see something like this, where it has image, image, and then it starts talking about your posts, show a little faith in magic. You ain't. I know from reading a little bit from my client's site that this is the correct information. So this is what it should look like. This is what you want to see when you type in slash feed behind your domain. So now that we have the feed, I'm going to set the interval of which we send. I'm going to say we're going to do every week, Monday at 9 a.m. New York time. Um, the reason I'm doing this is pretty tr strategic with my client specifically. You may have a different reason to do yours at a different time. Um, but because this is a financial type deal, 9 a.m. Monday is an excellent time to hit it. You might want to go for like a, a Tuesday or a Wednesday because Mondays are terrible. But specifically, my client wants to go on Monday. Um, we want to re resize the RSS feed to fit. Yes, this is a yes, 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 of course. All right, so down here in the bottom right, we're going to hit next. Okay, let's go to the entire audience. That's correct. Segment or new group. Nope, nope. All right. So if you want to segment it out, you could do this and, and select specific recipients, right? But I'm going to go ahead and make it simple and do it to the entire audience. We want everybody who is subscribed to this MailChimp audience to receive every blog update, okay? Um, share blog updates. That's fine. Uh, let's keep that here. Hmm. All right, I think that's a little bit of a way to start it in because it's going to bring the title in and then it's going to bring in the date. So I, I think that's a pretty good way to bring that in. Uh, preview text. Let's ha not have any preview text. From name, Bob. This is my client. Yes, sir. Um, tracking. Let's see. Track opens. Yes. Track clicks. Yes. Um, we don't have Google Analytics integrated into this MailChimp account, so we're not going to click that, but that is a great thing to do. If you're really serious about um, newsletters and emails and drip campaigns and email marketing, you're going to want to track them and to know what's working or not. So I think this is a great thing to do if you're serious. Um, this is more of a kind of a blanket email, so we're not really worried about Google Analytics here. I don't think he even has Google Analytics on his main site. So Google Analytics is not a big deal for us right now. Um, uh, how to tweet after sending. This might be a good one. Um, these two might work depending on your social media strategy. This may all play in really well so that you can just post your blog on your site. The email marketing is taken care of. The social media marketing is taken care of. So this is a really cool addition if you want to look into that. Um, auto convert video. No, we're not going to have any video. You want to do that if, you, if your posts include video though. Uh, just so that they format properly into your template. Okay, so now we've done all of the... Um, the setup for it. Now it's time for us to design that actual email that they see. So, uh, basic sell products, make an announcement, tell a story, educate. I think make an announcement's probably the best one. Um, tell a story. 
Tell a story might be well. So it's between these two. Ooh, educate could work. Yeah, let's go with uh, make an announcement. Mm. So now I'm thinking about tell a story or the other one. I'm going to preview it right quick. Um, yeah, let's just do this one for simplicity's sake. Oh, upgrade to use? No thanks. Okay, so we're going to be using one of the basic ones. Oops. Uh, next. I don't know why it took me back right here, but we don't need any more of this. Okay, so we've got to use the basic upgrade to use. Jeez, man. Everybody wants my money. All right, I'm going to go with the basic block. Drag any of these. Da, 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 da. Um, you know, logo. Match all this up. Don't change any of this down here. Keep all of that stuff. It's it's really important for MailChimp to have those at the bottom. Um, I don't want to have social medias. Right? Because um, this specific block doesn't have any social medias. Uh, for this, I'm going to drop the logo in. But he doesn't have a logo. Um, maybe I can find a logo right quick. I'm going to pause the video while I find this. Ah, here we go. Nah, he doesn't like this image. Alright, so I'm going to leave that barren. I'm just going to delete that. Because he doesn't have a true logo. Um, it's time to design your email. Uh, yep, I'm okay with there. Set up dynamic content. Nope, I have to upgrade for that. Let's downsize this. Save and close. Um, let's look through the other ones a little bit settings okay let's just see what that looks like it may be super ugly and we need to come back to that i want to see how it renders the and it pulls in the post and and displays that that's what i really want to see here oh preview and test uh looks like there's a problem we noticed some of your placeholder text in your message, specifically, we still see in one of your blocks. Resolve? Yeah, I don't know what that means, so we're going to learn this together. Um, hmm. So it's not called that. Okay, so let's see if we can find it in the final step. Um... Okay, we did this part. We did that part. Recipient step. No, we're template setup. Da 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 da. And use our RSS content blocks to pull in the information. So that's what I need right there. Um. Well, how do I get there? Um. Mm, can I add stuff? Hmm, let me pause the video and figure this part out. Okay, I figured that part out. Um, basically, what I needed to do was uh, click on add. Mm, there we go. Uh, I needed to get to the blocks right here. And I needed to pull over um, RSS items and put it in here. Okay, so that's going to that's gonna bring in everything we need about the pose. So let's just introduce that a little bit. And say something like, um, is it with an S? Inefficient pursuits, yes, with an S. All right, I think that's great. Um, all right, so let's see what that looks like in preview mode. That's great. Okay, so when I go back to the real thing, um, I want to look at this and just verify this information is correct. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so it would be really nice to have a logo up here, but because this client doesn't specifically have a logo, we can't put anything up there. So we're just going to go to next. All right. 
Um, I know this is super basic looking. Feel free to make it look amazing on your own, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to do it quick. Um, okay, so that is all set. Um, and, and when I hit this button down here, it goes live. Send now and start. No, I just want to start. So the difference in this would be um, turn on and it would send out on its next scheduled basis, right? This would send it now and then send it again on Monday. Right now it's Thursday, so I don't want to send it right now and again on Monday. It'd probably be the same post, right? So I'm just going to start start RSS. You're about to start sending new posts to yes. That's exactly what I want to do. And we're done. Rock on, man. Your first will be sent on. All right, so that's great. So everything is set up now. This will arrive at this time frame and be the latest blog post. Now, very importantly, this uh, automation that we've just created within MailChimp pulls the latest post from your posts in your WordPress from the feed by date. So if I come in here and change this date and backdate it or forward date it to the future, I can change these around. And that's how you can quickly and effectively, because we started this and he's already made four or five, six posts, he can still send these out through that same process by backdating them behind the cigar butts and deferring taxes point. Does that make sense? Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like and a comment. Love you. Thank you. Bye-bye.